What's happening? We're going on our first shopping trip to look for a boat to move on to, to do the Great American Loop. Here we go. It's our first round of looking at boats. First official. Our dream boat. <laughs> and can you tell me more about where we're going and what we're doing? We're going to Chattanooga, Tennessee, which luckily is only a one, less than a two hour drive from Atlanta, which would be very handy. Today we're looking at three boats with Curtis Stokes and Associates. We're gonna look at um, a Hatteras okay. and two Carvers, a Carver 459 and then a Carver Voyager, which I think is gonna be a good option, but it's gonna be a little bit too modern. And I use that term because I think we're gonna want like a shippy feel, and a Hatteras is more of a shippy feel. And by we, you mean you. But I kinda want a shippy feel too. Hatteras. We're just getting on boats to start layout, helping like, narrow our search. Flow. Like the one Voyager boat is gonna have bunk beds for the kids, but it's I think the bunk beds are like in a closet. And the Hatteras is gonna be not a ton of space for them, but it's still gonna have a side-by-side -side bed and a little bit of room for them to at least sit on the floor and play with a stuffed animal or something. Because we've gotta be able to say, go to your room. <laughs> and as a reminder, we will probably change every surface in whatever boat we buy. Well, that's another thing, is like a Hatteras or some of the old shippier boats, you can do that. These newer boats, carvers and stuff like that, it's all molded in and there's not that much you can change. So that's what yeah, we need so to look we, at. So we want it to be, we want these boats to be... Our personality. Our personality. It's going to be our home Beautiful. Form. It's going to have our aesthetic. But we're going to go a little more nautical and preppy than our typical bohemian. Yeah. But it'll be a blend. But we want it full on. So like nautical Ralph Lauren meets Serena and Lily meets Amber Interiors meets Kelly Worsler and one boat. What's that gonna look like? Awesome. Amazing. So Chattanooga and Nashville are both side trips on the Great American Loop that we um, hope to do whenever we eventually get our boat and get on the loop, which may or may not be delayed because of COVID because Canada is still closed. Sorry folks, Canada's closed. The moose outside should have pulled. Okay, after like over a decade of dreaming about this, it's so crazy that we're actually looking at boats. You know these boats. There's a boat on the high. You eat dinner right there, you do homework right there, you watch TV right here. It's very much like B Dad's book. Yeah. Oh, what, what is that? A bed room. Oh my goodness. Is it just one bed? Yeah. yeah. Tiny under here. You'll be like Harry Potter. So this would be Mommy and Daddy. What do you think about this one? Come see, come saw. It's only got one helm on the flybridge. It's a little tight. And this bit right here is a little tricky with kids. With all the locks we have to do, there's no railing. Hey guys, what'd you think about that boat? Great. Too small to live on for a year or two. And Tight. A little tight. It, yeah, the walk around was too nerve wracking and not enough space for us and a tutor. Oh, yeah, the kids going from the back to the front, half to the, the bow would be nerve wracking. And we're gonna do, to... there's a lot of times we're gonna have to do that for all the docking and locking we're gonna do, so we need that to be safe for me. Yep. Now we're off to look at a bigger boat at a different marina. Yep. <laughs> Oh! Oh wow! 
Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. this is Three. cool. Okay, so here's their master. actually wasn't for sale they were just showing it to us to so very we nice could, so we could see they just bought it the so layout they were. they were nesting okay third and final marina to look at the third and final boat what are what are we looking at here mark 56 foot hatteras motor yacht what year 1980s so it's gonna need a makeover yeah but it's pretty good to start with <laughs> Look guys, what's neat about this ship? Okay. Well step over the look, you can walk all the way around with a railing. Go down. Okay, well this isn't as dark as I would think. So we're gonna put a dinette, we put a dinette back in here. So you, that's where we would yeah, sit and eat. Far. Yeah, this was great for two people who were living here. But they've completely redone, well not completely, but mostly redone this kitchen. And it's a lot brighter than I thought it would be. Yeah. This room oh, and bathroom was. would be where the tutor lives. I have a question. How do you get up there? Crawl. Yeah. A little Those laundry. Okay, so this is the kids' bath. <laughs> here would be your room. Yeah. See, this seems much more livable. Yeah, we'd, we'd have fun in here. Okay, so this is great. Okay, so this would get a makeover, but it's got great yeah! space, and Dad would paint back here. And now let's go up here. Okay, so this was boo -boo. decorated awesome. more as a liveaboard, not a traveling boat. So if we were under in big waves, these chairs would bounce out. So we got to redo this, but we can. Um, this feels massive. Yeah. Okay, what do y'all think about this one? Amazing! Awesome. I want this one. You uh, want this I one? Like yes. Do you realize that we will be living buy on this boat it, for like a it. year or two? Yeah. Would you be comfortable living on a boat like this? It may yes. not be this one, but it might be the same model, buy just a different it. one. Buy it. Buy it. Hey, Mom, See, look. Is, like, Mom. I want that. Ship. You want versus ship versus. What do you think? I love the whole feel of the Hatters. The whole, like, I love that. standing it. Isn't that great? Yes! That's a house on the water. I want it! It's a keeper! Everybody okay. loves it except you. I don't even think that particular, like, I can make that boat work. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, we could make that boat work, but I'd have to gut all the it stuff that they've done. Is that out of this? Why do you like this boat the best? Because it's big and we have run around space 
and our bedroom is awesome, and it's cool, and it's awesome, and it's cool, and it's awesome.